Hello everyone and welcome back to Prison Architect. As always, we are gaming by Gaslight and we've just got the next bunch of prisoners coming in. To, uh, yeah, our lovely prison, which is going rather well so far. Oh no, not Hall. Poor guy got run over. Alright, let's uh, have a look here at who's all come in today. Let's see, we have Warren Rogers. Jonathan Scarecrow Crane. Oh, awesome. I didn't know that he was now bald and wearing sunglasses and had some kind of facial hair. <laughs> yes. Alright, rusted for being really bad at chemistry, Jonathan Crane attempted to create a hallucinogenic fear gas. When he failed, he tried to make some crack, messed up, and tried to sell the burnt mess to a police officer. I see, so a wannabe scarecrow. Yes. Alex Fletcher. Ah, Fletcher. And... Scott Hale, Ed Findlay, Aston Wilson, John Stacy. I'm still convinced that's not a hairstyle so much as it is some kind of turban, but I could be wrong. Let's see, Tim... Wait a minute. Nope, that's just a regular guy. Well, as far as that clothing is concerned, and someone just left a bunch of eggs stacked out here for some reason. Anyway, Tim La Gaviota. Borcherding? Probably butchered that a little bit. After being attacked by a seagull at the beach and receiving a scar on his left cheek... Oh yeah, there it is. You can actually see it, unless... Nope. That's actually on my screen. Or, no, that is actually in the game, not on my screen, rather. Uh, he swore revenge. He filled six scuba tanks with hydrogen, buried them in the seagull reserve, and blew them off. No seagulls were harmed during this incident. Oh, that's fortunate. But he did cause grievous bodily harm. Uh, Duncan Ansley, James Pickles. James was on an IT tech, or was an IT tech, who choked a user to death with an Ethernet cable after they got a virus trying to pirate indie games. Tisk tisk. Oh, this guy's got an unknown reputation. That's never a good sign. So you never know. Oh, this guy's stoical. This guy's also unknown. Oh, Stephen Cadwallader. Uh, Sergio the Taco Hudson. After his attempted theft of a shipment of 10,000 tacos, Sergio fled Mexico only to find that his passport picture resembled that of a six-year-old girl's. You poor man. Richard Howell. Never giant, massive stature guy here. Luke the Troll Rado. He wanted to pull an innocent prank on his friend by lagging his internet connection. The next day, he was convicted of murdering his friend's favorite hardcore game character. Oh my. Stephen Cantlow. Akim Soviet Field. Or Akim? I think that's the proper pronunciation for that. Anyway, a former Boy Scout troop leader was arrested during a camping trip in the winter while using a flamethrower to heat the campers. Quote, unquote. When questioned, he also admitted to killing orphans with mullet. My god, you monster. Paul Wagstaff. And Gal the Douchebag Cats. Gal was a nice person that always helped others, until one day his friend called him a douche for the hundredth time and he lost it. He killed his friend and six more to school is shot out. My word. That's... that's no way to respond to name-calling, sir. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this guy's just like, I need sleep! I really do need to build that supermax cell. Ooh, also, that looks really cool. Also, is it just me, or does anyone else see kind of like a smiley face in this? Like, I mean, big mouth, then like sort of a little, like, happy eye sort of thing there. Oh, hygiene's starting to become an issue. What's going on? Oh my god, what happened? Oh, right, I think it's because I... Didn't I temporarily get rid of this lockup at one point? I think I put this back on off-camera. But even so, probably a good time to start building shower things in the yard once we actually get our money back. Oh, we've actually produced a superior bed. Wow. Just nine more, and we can actually... Oh. Who died? No. Oh, he was a snitch. Oh, come on. You're in class. You're not supposed to be killing people in class. Those poor snitches. Thinking of which, let's go to the Yule Intelligence and call our informants in. 
see if we can't get any interesting intel. Since we do kind of have to save up our money so we can actually afford things. Let's see here. Oh, we just need two more to pass foundation. Oh yeah, and then general education. Is anyone even taking general education? Uh, programs. Workshop safety, carpentry, apprenticeship. Unfortunately, we only have the one. I guess if I built an ever office for um, a foreman and we got a second foreman, then we could have more such classes. Okay. Good, good. Oh, there are some people in general education. Hopefully they pass. Oh, good, we've got some people passing here. A lot of people... Oh, these are the guards. They damn well better be passing their taser certification. Ooh, nicely done. Okay, so everything is going fairly well in the prison. Let's uh, continue looking at the needs. Yeah. But we are making 12,000 a day, so presumably we should get out of the hole soon. Hmm, literacy, spirituality. So, do we need more books? Hmm. Alright. Oh yeah, and I do have these cameras here, which eventually I am going to want to hook up. Is there anywhere else that we really need cameras? Because we have these eight, and the ones I don't really have anything hooked up to are going to be for, like, the other monitor. Okay, again, you, this mon this thing isn't even hooked up to anything. You don't need to be here. So I guess with that in mind, I guess I might as well hook this up. One. And, and two. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, people are eating. Food is being met, mostly. You know, I almost think I should have built this so that, uh, like, entrances were here, so they would had a bit less distance to go in order to get here. Oh, why is this door locked? This should be one of the open ones. And let's uh, go over to deployment, just to make sure everything is proper. So far, so good. Yes. Everything is as I have planned. Oh yeah, also I believe I did all this off camera so that the uh, various things are as they should be. And we have like dog patrols that come around. No armed patrols yet, though I, I'm eventually probably going to want some armed guys in here. Oh, we've produced two more superior beds. You see, this would this used to be like pretty much impossible. Oh, we also have money again. And, uh, let's see here. 199. So we can have one max and two normal security. Oh, excellent. We shall do things just like that. Also, we have our plans over here. I'm sort of figuring out, like, how the uh, max and protective custody, or super max death row and protective custody are going to, like, fit in here. Haven't quite figured everything out yet, but... Yeah. Of course, I probably could have designed things even better. Oh. People are getting angry. How many doctors do we have, by the way? One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so riots are starting to break out. But they're sort of like individual riots. One prisoner is well fed. Oh, that's unfortunate. But, food is being met mostly, so... Well then again, that, that like well fed bonus goes away pretty quickly. Also, freedom is sort of high. So we, we are having some needs that are going up a little bit. So, we may have to work on that. Also, why do these particular rooms not have toilets in them? Right, it's better to be safe than so- Oh my god, I forgot to check on our informants. Here they are- Oh, they, they all went home. 
Good. No. This. Intelligence, performance, and uh, we'll just close. Oh, we have another legendary prisoner in here, who I missed apparently. Wait a tick. This guy's hair looks different than the one in his picture. Interesting. But you are Supermax now, my good sir. Alright, what else do we have? CI, CI. Um, I'm not seeing any... Oh, this guy is a cop killer. But that really only means we have to worry about our guards getting a little too uh, zealous when it comes to dealing with them. So we're, we're probably good. We're going to recruit you, because why not? And let's see here. I also can't help but feel that we're probably missing, like, dozens of Polaroids and cool things. Because I haven't really noticed any of them. I know they're around here. They have to be popping up somewhere, but alas, I cannot seem to see them. Oh well. Anyway, moving on. We're just going to save up our money. Uh, you really don't need to be in there, buddy. But apparently you want to be in there, so I guess I can't stop you. Look at them all. Just sleeping and generally enjoying their lives. Little do they know. Oh, also, what's the grading in our prison doing so far? Alright, 33% reoffending rate. If we can get this down to, uh... Oh, nice. 0% reoffending rate. Five deaths in custody, though. Yeesh. Prison is worth over half a million dollars. Health is not so good. I'm kind of... Oh! What's this? Did we find a tunnel, or... I think that's just a false positive. Let's have a random look at the prisoners. Oh jeez, why is health so low? Because of intoxication and active addictions. Okay. So, what you're telling me is it's time for another shakedown. What was that sound? Look at this. Poison. Saws. Cell phones, hammers, screwdrivers, shivs, little uh, clubs, shanks, knives, forks, spoons, medicine, tisk tisk. Oh, oh my. Um, tab. There we go. We'll just uh, lock this open for now until everyone gets in. What was that? Oh. Did we find a tunnel? Yes, we did! Come on, guys, don't be that way. Digging up all these tunnels in my beautiful prison. Yeah. Some people, huh? Overall, though, we're doing pretty decently. Okay. Also, probably want to demolish these walls right here, because they're not really necessary anymore. Oop. Uh, but I do, I do want the foundation to be there. And the foundation is, in fact, there. Good. Oop. All this can stay for now. We're not really going to expand too, too much. Shears? Where the devil did you get the shears from? These are the questions, my friends. These are the questions. Okay. Well, I think we're going to turn intake off for now. Because of reasons. Basically, I just want to save up. When we have like 12-ish thousand or something like that, also speed up time, we'll start building again. Ooh, who's the spiritual guy who's in here today? Where'd he go? Oh, I missed him. Dash it all. And with all these bookshelves I have everywhere... Oh. Did 
things. Nope. That's just a false positive. I mean, who would even be digging there? These are the questions. <laughs> Alright, we're doing some cooking. It's yard time. People are enjoying their lives. What's this? Stuff's a happening. But overall, I mean, the prison is going rather well. And. Yeah. Oh, I, you know what? It occurs to me. The guys who came in today, I forgot to look at them. Oh well. Let's uh, wander on over to the solitary wing, see if there's. There is actually no one here right now, and apparently there are no utilities. I. I really did not build this up quite right. Yeah. So. I guess another thing that's gonna be of pressing interest sooner or later is... Whoa! Oh, that guy looked... That Scales guy looked really small for some reason. A lot of people don't want their drugs. Wow. Four booze, two medicine, three needles, some cigs, some drugs. Overall, we are doing pretty well, though. Aha! Wait a minute. Owner unknown. So someone tossed it over the fence. Interesting. These are the things. Of course, with that in mind, I guess... Yeah. I'm still pretty sure prisoners, like, stuff can't be thrown this far, but... I'm kind of scared that they might be able to, and also, look at this. The supply- well, I don't really care about the supply of luxuries being hot- well, booze and cigs. Well, okay, maybe I do care a little. Oh, man. The price of needles, medicine, poison, and drugs is pretty, uh, pretty cheap, apparently. Fortunately, the price of most tools is fairly high, and the price of weapons is considerably high. So, yeah. Overall, overall this does con- holy cow, 34 guards who aren't doing anything? I guess that's a good thing. Decent management, have all our guards watching things over here. But, uh, where's this one last place we have to search? Hello? Oh. Seriously? What are you- what are you doing? There's a dog over here, and the handler, and the workman that... Did I... You, Mr. Guard, could you, uh, like, come over here and examine what's going on over here? Like, maybe finish that? Okay, there we go. Some kind of weird glitch or something was going on there. And I mean, these things happen from time to time. It looked like some weird thing where there was like a conflict between the workman who was holding on to that sheet of metal and I guess the dog handler who was trying to search it. So I had to get rid of one or the other, and I certainly wasn't getting rid of the dog handler. Oh, I'll look at them all. Though, I don't think I've actually seen anyone, like any of the dogs, come rest in here, so... I guess I was mistaken about the idea that it might work that way. Also, this is... I forget which station this one's on. Okay, it's here. Yeah. So, I look at this, and... I mean, there is more room to put more stuff on this grid. But... More stuff's going on over here. Oh, it's the Supermax guys. Yeah, I, I really need to get these guys their own thing. Okay, so. We do now have the money. So I think what I'm going to do is...
build all this off camera. I can't help but feel now that I might have said this at the end of last episode and then I just kind of forgot to do it because it, it's been a couple of days since I've recorded Prison Architect since I had uh, EU4 and also real life stuff to kind of take care of. But anyway, yes, I will make sure we are completely on track with Prison Architect and uh, yes, hopefully uh, res or cut down on the number of deaths that are happening under my watch, because really that's just not good when people are dying. It's bad for morale, really. Let's just be honest here. That's what the real reason we're doing it. It's because it hurts morale. And you don't get those superior beds if you have low morale, so... Yes. I'm completely making that up. I don't know if prisoners dying actually impacts morale in any way, but you never know. So, anyway... As always, I'd just like to thank you all now as we wrap this episode up. I definitely keep sending me your feedback and stuff, and I definitely I want to see more prisons that, that I can try escaping from, either ones you've built or ones you've found online that you think would be an interesting challenge. And I should probably look up some on my own as well, just so that we can kind of intersperse those into the main series. But yes, I will see you guys in the next episode.